That's a behemoth zombie. Look how tall it is. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another episode of 7 Days to Die, Doctor's Falls Bod. I'm Jean and this is my base tour video. As you guys can see, I am in the prison. It sucks that it's starting to rain now and it's so misty. But I took over the prison over here and I just m upgraded the hell out of it. As you can see, each of these towers over here have three spotlights. So it gives a little bit of uh, lighting during the ward. And then I have my 10 shotgun turrets. It's these ones with the uh, metal twisting sticking out his arms. Uh, three on each side, north, south and north, and two on the west and east side. Now the reason for that is this whole place has a rectangular shape. So on the longer sides, which is the south and north, I added the arms, and the shorter sides, uh, two arms. So three arms, two arms. And then also out there on pillars, I have my auto turrets. Two on each side and one in the corners. And as you guys might notice, um, the pillars that are on are blue. Now that's because it's titanium, uh, it's a nice thing in mod, it's uh, after steel it can get titanium which is way stronger. So how it basically works is you get concrete, then you get reinforced concrete, then you can upgrade that to steel and that to stainless steel or reinforced steel. And then if you have a titanium claw hammer, you have to take 6 shots per block but you can upgrade that stainless steel block to a titanium block. And the titanium blocks have 25,000 hit points. So yeah, they're quite tough. Now each of these uh, pillars on the outside have a motion sensor over here pointing straight down. So that if zombies come from this uh, back be behind them during hordes and try and destroy these pillars, this activates turning on the blade trap and it kills the zombie trying to damage the pillar. So yeah, as you guys can see, 25,000 health. This already has 12,000. Okay, so over here we have our electric fence. I think I turned it off, yep. Uh, we have our electric fencing over here, sticking into here. And now the only problem is if it breaks, we'll have to take out the ramp over here and then uh, redo the connection and put the ramp back. But other than that, this is a nice design. Over here, I also put the blade traps closer in. Um, I actually regret doing this. I already faced the ward, so I might as well tell you guys uh, it doesn't end well if there are bombers. Um, in this mod, there are fire bombers, and then obviously they're exploding cops. But yeah, all of them, if they explode, especially uh, enough of them on one side, you can lose a few of these blade traps. So perhaps when you do the design, put them in between the rows of yeah, so that it damages the zombies enough, but it leaves the zombies a chance to run through and explode away from the blade traps. So they have the electric fencing over here, they get stuck here, they get shot from all directions by turrets, and then the, over here the blade traps slice and dice them as they get to yeah. Over here they slow, slow down even more because the spikes slow them down. And as you can see all the way around the prison I did 3 blocks high of titanium. Then steel and then these pillars stainless steel because I don't want the flooring falling in. Now these iron bars were upgraded from iron to steel as well. That's why they have the steel look, at, uh, look to them. Okay, basically all around the build is the same design. Um, I might suggest that you guys add two more shotgun turrets on each side and two more auto turrets and then also you'll see during the ward i had the problem of the turrets being too close so for example here they'd get shot but over here the spitters would spit at me so if you move them back five or ten blocks then they'll kill the bombers and spitters for you as well and then i'll even put uh, blade traps over here because i know during the horde zombies like uh, running up the ramp and then that just gets them over there I'm going to show you guys the inside. You'll restore really my farm up here. Although after the one update we just had, uh, you need water to grow. So but since this is my last episode of here, there's no need for that. Now my electric fence posts are connected on the inside of here. Huh? I missed a block. Um, or rather, I think it was from the hoard just now. Yeah, a few blocks are missing. And also, as you guys can see, they destroyed a tree. But that's the nice thing about this place that I want to show you as well. Um, each tree has a metal siding defense like this so even if a tree was to fall you can just take out the one bottom side plant a tree and it'll grow back in its place and also since the middle siding and that is connected at the moment it's keeping each other up oh i'm so glad i did this metal siding i could actually hear the tree fall during the ward 
Okay, but yeah, like we said, my electric fencing goes all the way around inside. Um, if you guys watch my videos, you'll know why I do it like this. This is just to daisy chain them, and then the real shocking part is between us and the blade traps. Okay, so also since, as you guys can see, you don't need the trees to keep these up, I have 24 trees here, but you only need like 12 or so. So you can space the trees from that one to that one far apart. You don't have to do it every three or four blocks. You can do it a lot of blocks and then just make sure you have middle siding protecting the trees. Because as the tree falls, that keeps it up. Also, as you guys see over here, I put a plate wall. That's just because if a zombie vomits, although I didn't help the tree just now, must might be one higher. Um, if the zombie vomits at you, the cops or the fire bombers, then it hits this wall and doesn't destroy your base back here. But like I said, just add one more layer because you saw they destroyed that one tree from splitting too much. Over here I have my forge and smelting area and my storage area. Uh, my cement mixes over here, working bench. Now in this mod you actually need this one, the metal workstation to make your steel and auger blades and stuff. I actually used a titanium auger to mine the resources I needed for the wall. Over here you can also make your different classes. I started out as construction class, but now I know all the classes, which you can see over here. Mastery. Uh, although the one class not under mastery is civilian class. You might want to check that out as well. Chemistry stations and then my advanced forges over here. Now the advanced forges you need for steel and forged uh, the forged titanium. But other than that, you can use normal forges for the iron stuff. Put a bit in here just in case I wanted to rest away from the generators over here. And then I have my rooms. This is my kitchen with working ovens, working sinks. Um, the only thing that's not electrical at the mo or working at the moment is the fridges, but you can still use them for storage. Over here I have my toilet area. I wanted to do a bath as well, but unfortunately it doesn't have the 50 blocks, so I couldn't make the step up to the bath. This is my generator hallway. I'll explain the connections about them now. And then this is my garage. You can come in from the front. I'm going to show you that corner because I faced them on the northwest. Okay, <laughs> but like I said, you can come up this ramp or come up the other one and just come around. And then enter through here and store the minibike in here. So that's a nice part. And then also I put the garage doors here so you can close them. Over here we have the study slash lounge slash bedroom. It was so huge I couldn't decide what I do I wonder wanted to do, so I just did all of them. Then over here for my generators, as you guys can see, I liked getting the sides, like for example, the southwest, southeast this side, northeast, northwest this side. But to make sure that I know which switches were for which, because I mean otherwise I have to read the whole time, is I went for the blades, the camo background, and for the electric fencing the blue. Same on this side. So instead of reading, if I want, just wanted to do the electric fence, I look for the blue, switch them on, switch them on. Over here I have my south turret, east turrets, west turrets, north turrets. Uh, base lights, you don't even need a mining helmet, that's how bright it is in here. And then spotlights during the horde. So during the, or just before the horde, you must just run through this hallway, switch on all the lights, and then voila, you have your defenses up and running. Just remember not to use too many of the motion sensors, because they can add to the frame drop. During this horde, you'll actually see that I took a few shots that were a little bit delayed, but just like a few milliseconds, because of the little bit of frame drop I had. So yeah, um, I'm going to show you guys the horde now. I am going to speed it up a little bit, because I mean, it was so hectic, I didn't have time to really talk. But you'll see, we even faced, uh, well, we faced cops, we faced bombers, we faced bomber dogs, and we even faced the new behemoth zombie, so that's quite awesome. You'll actually see it, it was a really nice horde. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoy the horde. Okay, so now we rested out. It's almost horde time. Let's just turn all of these switches on. Okay, which side? Which side? Listen for those gunshots. Ooh, this side. Ooh, this is a behemoth. That's a behemoth zombie. Look how tall it is.
Okay, guys, so that's it for the horde. Um, as you guys can see, the base took a little bit of damage, but at least, yeah, you can see the wall over here didn't take a lot of damage because it was 25,000k. If I had more time, I would have made this whole place titanium. They blew away the corner over here, but that's only because all the fire bombers came from this side. And the only reason the blade traps got destroyed over here is because of the tons, uh, tons and tons of fire bombers. I think if I moved all of these turrets like five blocks back and added one or two more turrets inside, they would have gotten those splitters. I think that's something to keep in mind next time I do this design or do a design similar to this. So if you guys like this video, please leave a like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback, leave that down below for me. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.